other day that this may be Monday for Shelton. Do you expect him to play tomorrow against Jose? Yes. Is he going to go back with the starting lineup for Jose? Or? Uh, Jose is still start. Okay. So the way that the bench has been rolling, um, when you've been able to play the nine, basically, how does Shelton fit into that? Or he fits that? in because we've been putting JR back in with the, with the uh, second unit, so um, that'll be Shelton's position. What do you see when you see the 76ers right now? You know, what kind of team, where in their evolution? It's just, team. I mean, <laughs> they gave us problems the whole time I've been here. So, um, in Philly, you know, it's going to be rocking. The crowd's going to be into it. Um, you know, Embiid's healthy. He's playing great basketball. Ben Simmons is healthy. You know, adding J.J. Redick and uh, Covington's playing great. So, um, they always played hard, always competed. So, now they have, you know, all the talent around them, you know, also. also so, um, they're a tough team. From the fraternity of coaches file, um, Brett, even when they were losing 65 games, everybody's saying great coach, great coach. And yes. they kept them. Yeah. They kept them. So, I mean, what is it about, or were you said as a coach about the way he does business? That's interesting. Just um, seeing how the team respects him, how he commands respect. Um, a no-nonsense guy. Um, the team plays hard every single night, and they execute. And, you know, before he had a young team that, you know, down the stretch in the games, it was tough on them. But they were in a lot of games um, that they could have easily won. And they could have easily beat us, I think, two or three times last year. <laughs> Not many people have a 6'10 point guard. You use a 6'8 guy at point guard every now and then. Does that give your guys an advantage when playing in a weird matchup against Ben Simmons? Um, I don't know about if it gives us an advantage, but I mean, you know, we've seen it in our team, we've seen it before, but um, he's playing at a high level and he just plays the right way. I mean, you know, doesn't hold the ball, makes the right pass, makes the right decision. Um, you know, teams are trying to go under, he's still getting into the paint, making the right play. So, um, you know, he, he's, he's a tough cover. And in, in transition, I mean, he's a beast. You know, his speed, his athleticism, his power. So we just got to make sure we get back and get loaded to the ball. Man, I wish I really could explain it. You know, it's just, we got to stay aggressive. You know, we got too complacent. Um, thought the game was over, but the game is never over. Um, they kept hitting, and they were knocking down shots, getting stops when they needed to. You know, and um, they closed it out. We didn't. You know, that's that's two in a row for us. And being in this type of situation, you know, we got to be we got to be a lot better for sure. Knowing time and just knowing, you know, uh, time and score pretty much. You know, we're up 15. You know, we're. Nine minutes or however many minutes or you know where to go. You know we got to realize that if you get that up to twenty, the next couple of minutes, you know they're gonna coach is probably gonna take them out of the game. You know so we gotta we gotta have a better mindset of that. You know um, continue to keep our foot on on the gas, man, and you know and just keep attacking on defense and on offense. You know and we gotta be a lot better. You know I gotta close out games better. Um, we all have to on both ends of the floor and. Um, you know, we got to learn from it. You know, it's, we're getting tired of, you know, mad faces in the locker room after the games, you know, especially after we were up 15 twice in this game, you know, so we got to close it out a lot better for sure. I mean, it was good. You know, it's always next man up. You know, we, you never want a guy to go down, but, you know, reality is what it is. You know, John's out. I uh, was going to be out for a little minute, so, you know, we got to we gotta step up. I got to step up and, and be a lot better and lead the guys. Get guys involved more. You know, Tim is doing an excellent job of, of doing so, running the team. Uh, Tomas did a great job coming in as well. So, you know, we got we got guys who are capable of doing it. You know, uh, we know John has. You know, those are big shoes to fill. But you know, at the same time, you know, we trust everybody to come in and and, and, and contribute. You know, so um, you know, that from those those two, they did an excellent job tonight. You know, Tim did a great job guarding Dame. Um, Tomas did too. You know, and it's it's just you know it's frustrating for sure, but. You know, we move on from it. We won't pout about it. You know, we just be men about it and on to the next one. Uh, uh, towards the end of the game, we got to find ways to uh, keep that up. Uh, we got to find ways to just be solid, uh, especially with, you know, four minutes to go when we have a lead like that. Um, you know, we just really just got to find ways to just, you know, uh, lock in pretty much, lock in and then come for each other. You got to give them credit. They were knocking down shots. You know, their two main scores got going in that fourth quarter. Um, you know, it's just hard once they get going, you know, and the, the basket gets big for them. Um, uh, you got to give them credit for getting them guys open 
uh, and they was able to knock down some shots. Uh, we just got to find ways to finish the game off. Um, got to uh, uh, come together collectively as a group uh, and um, defensively especially um, because we're going to get wide open shots. It's just our defense. Uh, we can't be um, slacking in that fourth quarter. We got to you know stay alert and be aware. Uh, we know they were gonna make a run. We just have to be solid. Um, basically, play solid defense. Um, you know, make every shot that they have tough. Uh, limit them to one shot. Um, they got a couple offensive rebounds. They got them going. Um, a couple kick out threes. Um, they got them going. So just gotta find a way to um, you know make sure we contain that in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, we stopped doing what got us the lead. And that is what? What? You were saying what got us the lead. We stop defending, bro. Everybody's together, man. We got to move on. You know, it's in the past. We can't dwell on what's in the past. And we got to move on and just worry about, you know, getting better tomorrow. Guard your man. Keep him in front of you. You know, don't let him get to the paint. Take pride in it. And, you know, just have have that mentality that you're not going to let your man score on you. Dennis, over the last five games or so, the ball movement seems like it's had an uptick. What do you attribute that to? Uh, coach. Coach, that's something he's been stressing. We've been practicing it a lot more. So, uh, you know, it's been translating from practice to the games, and, and now we've been winning a lot more. How much different is the vibe in this locker room with this team now that you guys seem to begin with something going? Oh, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Nobody likes to lose. Uh, and I think our team, um, we got a team full of winners, you know, regardless of whatever our record says, we got a team full of winners. So once we win games, uh, you know, it really ups the vibe in the room. What changed for you out there at 2 -0? Nothing. I ain't do nothing different. They, they, they just ain't feel like giving a nose. That's the only thing that changed. Was ranked pretty high on your list of birthdays that you had? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is probably the best one. I mean, you know, I'm a country boy, so I don't really do too much on my birthdays. So uh, to come out and get a win against the Thunder, uh, it's our first time winning two straight. It's a great feeling. How important was it to actually step on to throw it tonight? Uh, it was super important. It was super important. A lot of that has contributed to Wes because, uh, you know, he did a great job on PG tonight. <clears throat> he was messed up with him the entire game, and, um, you know, he just had a stellar performance defensively. Uh, my main thing was I just told everybody to keep it at uh, double figures. Don't let him get the single digits, and, uh, you know, that will crush him, and we did just that. Up with guys like Russ earlier in here. Do you use games like this to kind of see how you're coming along when you get to match up with guys like that? Uh, not really. I don't really um, try to compare myself. No, I just go out, do what I need to do, and try to win the game. That's all that matters to me.